tried in Detroit. We just showed you there coming across, getting in the middle of the ice, and then going back across the grain where he just came from. And Shesterkin stays out high there, and he's able to keep the glove up and prevent it from going in. Patrick Kane against Devin Levi. Levi on the goal line. Now out front of the blue paint. Kane carries it in. Levi tracks up and makes the stop. I don't think he got a piece of that one. He'd have to think he would against Kane. He's yeah, not he going to miss from in there. Yeah, he made a good save here. And what he does is just take everything with him. Just comes right across with him. Stays out high. Sees halfway up the blue paint. Right on the corners. I think Patrick Kane just ran out of room, not knowing what to do and where to go with it. He just had to take the shot. Tage Thompson will take the second shot here for Buffalo. In the shootout, Thompson up the middle of the ice. Thompson! Shesterkin's glove has the puck. Yeah, I would suggest maybe stay away from that glove here. Two shots so far, both of them going into the glove of Shesterkin, but... Hey, Thompson coming in. He come down the left side, cut into the middle. It looked like he was trying to get it up underneath the bar on Shesterkin and just did not get it high enough. Mika Zibanejad now for the Rangers' second shot. Levi pushes out ahead of the blue paint. Zibanejad, middle of the ice. Oh, again, Devin Levi gets over to that far post. And we are still without a goal in the shootout. Now, if anything, he just he's making everybody think because you just don't know what he's going to do. And right there, Zibanejad just... Lost control of it because he got in so tight and it was a last second thing that he was trying to get that shot off and Zibanejad just couldn't handle it because Devin Levi took everything away. All right, Alex Tuck now for Buffalo. Right side entry, Tuck deep backhand. Oh, he thought that might squeak through, but Shesterkin got enough. And we still have no goal in the shootout. Now yeah, here's Alex Tuck coming in and he's just going to pull it to his backhand looking to go five hole on Shesterkin. And you see the stick right there. It deflects the puck up and over. Panarin for the Rangers. Devin Levi again on the goal line now comes out. Panarin to the near circle. Levi tracks him. Panarin deke and Levi will make the save. Panarin cannot go back and forth. No, there's just nowhere for him to go. He's doing a great job of just staying with them, but staying out high enough where they still think they got time to make the move, but they just end up getting in so tight that they just can't get the shot off. That's happened twice now. When you got a guy like Panarin thinking like that, you're, you're doing something right. Owen Power. What a moment for Owen now on the shootout. He'll bring it to the circle here on the near side. Power to the middle of the ice. Scores! Owen Power in the shootout. Puts the heat on the Rangers here with their next shot. Now, Owen Power made that look pretty easy. Coming in, just really slow, comes across on his forehand. And then just as he gets to the middle of the ice, goes back across the grain and just blows it over the top of the glove of Shifsterk and right into the corner. Here we go, Devin Levi against Tarasenko. Tarasenko at center, Levi pushes out to meet the play. Tarasenko between the circle, scores! He wasted no time. Yeah, there's nothing slow about the way Tarasenko plays. And he goes, and when he shoots, it's going to be hard. And he got right into that slot area right there, and he knew that it was time to take the shot. He had Devin Levi moving back into the net a little bit. And quick shot just to the blocker side. Casey Middlestad. For the Sabres. Each team with a goal in the shootout. Middlestad works his way in. Deke scores! Casey Middlestad showing off some nifty mitts there. And the Sabres with two goals in the shootout. Now again put the pressure on the Rangers. Yeah, an awful lot of confidence going in here. Casey Middlestad. He's feeling good about himself and that quick little move from the right to the left and then back to the right to the backhand and Shesterkin got locked, couldn't move. Here we go, Capo Kako against Levi who comes well out to meet him. Kako, Levi with the save and the Sabres take a big bite out of the Big Apple to keep their playoff hopes alive. Yeah, and they got a lot of help here tonight, too. You got Florida losing. You got the Islanders losing. Sabres, as you said, Dan, still alive after a huge, huge performance here against the Rangers tonight. They've done an excellent job. As we said, there was times in this game where you thought it might have slipped away from them, but they were able to regain control, got themselves rolling again. Levi come up with some big saves when they needed to. 
Sabres on the few chances they got in that third period, able to capitalize. And Casey Middlestad getting the big goal to tie it up. Devin Levi is uh, yeah, he's feeling pretty good about himself. He's right golden right now. This yeah. kid. Yeah, here's Kako coming in. And once it in, just getting in tight and trying to go to his forehand, but you see that pad and skate already over to the post, even passing a little bit. Nowhere for Kako to go. Shuts it down. He falls on his face. And that's the game right there. Levi celebrates. Sabres move on to Jersey. Shades of some big goaltender moments in Buffalo Sabre history. And this young man is just starting to write his own chapter. Check out the reaction of his teammates as they greet him.